Meanwhile, President Obama is telling Americans that we need to side with the governments like Syria because all they want is peace and change. Oh, I'm hoping for it. I have a feeling we're going to get it. As they march their people off to death, isn't it great? We're hoping for change. Yesterday was significant in the Middle East because it's not uh, Noxa Day. I love Noxa Day. Did, did you decorate your Noxa tree? <laughs> Neither did I. Noxa, not to be confused with Nakba. Noxa means setback. Nakba means catastrophe. Okay, this is kind of important because they have been celebrating Nakba Day, which looks a little like that kind of celebration. You know, tear gas, the usual run-of-the-mill Fourth of July stuff without the hot dogs. So Nakba Day is the day of the great catastrophe, which is the day that Israel was founded. Mm -hmm. Naksa is where they came up with the the borders after 1967. Okay, So that was a setback. Setback? Setback? That would imply that there's a bigger goal in mind. Gee! I wonder if it could be, let's think, let's think, let's think, think out of the box. Destroy Israel and kill all the Jews? Do you think? Maybe that could be it? No, 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 no. All the intellectuals, especially those that are good friends with those, this administration, like Rashid Khalidi, oh, he's back in the news again. He's such a good guy. Okay, sure, he's pro-Palestinian and pro-Palestinian terrorist sympathizer, sure, and a college professor at Columbia University, but who isn't these days? He's also thought to have ties to the PLO, but why check? Last year, he began raising funds for a Gaza-bound boat called the Audacity of Hope. The Audacity of Hope, the Audacity of Hope. Here's Rashid Khalidi. He's going to put together the... U.S. boat to Gaza, the audacity of hope. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a book by this guy's good friend, Barack Obama. <laughs> and this was named, not after the boat. The boat's named after this. This was named after a sermon given by this guy who also hates the Jews. Isn't it all great? <laughs> We're screwed if you don't wake up, America. The audacity of hope. Now, this guy again, he's raised enough cash to let this, this ship sail with the Freedom Flotilla 2. Coming later this month. Oh, freedom's going to be good. Now, Khalidi, Khalidi is a good friend of uh, this guy. Okay? And uh, he was there when he launched his campaign at this guy's house. He, this is Bill Ayers, weather, ground, under, weather underground uh, terrorist, he's married to this lady. And this lady, Bernadine Dorn, also a terrorist. Um, <laughs> you see where we're going here? They're organizing a flotilla, too. Oh, they all must have so much to talk about. You know what I mean? They got so much stuff in common. Not him, though. He's on Israel's side. It's just all the people around him. That's it. So anyway, um, they apparently are so close. They're friends. And they, they reportedly attended the same celebration of Khalidi um, that this guy spoke at and praised him. Of course, we, can't, we don't know. We, we, can't, we, we don't have videotape. Okay, I don't have it. The LA Times has the videotape, but they're not going to release that videotape. No, I don't think it's relevant right now. They have videotape of the event, but they're not going to release it. Why? I mean, unless you're trying to protect Obama because uh, he's saying really good things about this guy <laughs> in the same room with these people, you know, then you might not want to release it because it would hurt the president. How journalistic of you, L.A. Times, seriously. Let me tell you something. My, um, one of my assistants, uh, who I just hired right out of Columbia University, um, he interned for me for two years. Uh, and he had a class with this guy at Columbia. He said, in the first lecture, he said this, 
there is this notion, you know, that the Middle East is a region deprived of democracy and freedom. Well, that's simply not true. <laughs> you are so right. I was talking to this woman as she was driving down the street. Oh, wait, no, she wasn't driving down the street. Anyway, it's a crazy notion. Where have I heard that before? He also stated, every place on earth is in support of the Palestinians except the United States and Israel, yet all of them together don't matter compared to the United States and Israel because the U.S. and Israel can do anything they want because of their status as a superpower. <laughs> oh, you are so smart. Who's got a big egghead? You do.